You can hear me? I've got my new phone going. Oh, lovely. Yeah, that's, uh, that's the one, that, the main one that's going to run the shares and everything, the pound note and everything. Uh, oh. So when I come back from North and North Finish, I go with uh, Cecile to get the, that going. I've got them hooked up ready, the three phones hooked up ready to kick off with the pound note. Uh, now, this thing with Bundy, yeah. uh, he has uh, abandoned me to follow his own volition. That's right. And um, it's, it's his test of what he is uh, acting as a native court. It's going to is going to be a test on that case without me because I've given them documents to use yes. Yes. Uh, and um, I'm uh, weary of what he's doing uh, without me. I would have expected him to call me because I knew his case was going to be on but I, I know, know now that he's running things his way uh, and um, uh, what I've done here is uh, uh, when I come up to Taheke, <coughs> it's going to be a full-on Manukau Referefa case uh, uh, that's set the pattern. Um, and I'm, got, I'm, I'm on all the history now of, of, uh, of what happened at, uh, uh, in uh, Waikato, uh, at Mangatotari and how Tainui and the king has carted off everything out of the Manukau there into themselves, uh, uh, King uh, 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 Tehetia. And that has failed because I'm reading everything now, I'm putting those documents in the book, uh, of that outside of the treaty. This is back to 18, uh, just 1858 native, uh, native uh, laws uh, that they were using then right up to 1862. I'm just about to 1862 now where that date, uh, all, everything they were doing was not, uh, not uh, uh, lined up with the British. Sure. So I'm putting those documents into the book after what we did at Te um, uh, Waka Marae and uh, uh, Annette Hakarai was right on it. She knows that, all about that, uh, how, how that works and she's gone with us. Uh, you'll see the video with her there talking with us, yeah, yeah. and that's all that matters. Um, I convinced her to come up on, on the, uh, with us, and so she did. She's happy with uh, the outcome of what we did there, and um, yes. you'll find that um, uh, uh, well, after I went on the radio, Toko, um, uh, yeah. Pody rang me, and he's, oh, yes. he's got all the other documents, the, the real ones that he'd been trying to convince everybody where the British titles are, but right. he, he's in the Motukaraka area uh, yeah. and so he's got the Harris's over covering that one block and, um, yes, and um, uh, uh, um, Morris has got the, the Taheke one on this side yes. of the river, all of that area Beautiful. covered Beautiful. and there's nothing anybody can do about it because yes. they'll have to come there with their title deeds. That's what Pody's been trying to say all along. He had he has the title deeds, and he he couldn't understand how it, he just gave it to the Waitangi Tribunal. I said, "What the hell did you give it away for?" And so um, he said, "No, he's got copies." But I said, "They used it when you gave it over like that. They used it. That's why Morris never gave his away or went into treaty claims. He just held on to them." And so those two go together in those areas in one block, like Referefa's block. Uh, and there's, that all those treaty claims cannot contest it, even Bundy cannot contest that, because they've changed the Waikato into another Waikato up there, uh, Hohaia Waikato, in Bundy's Whakapapa. You see? They got Hohaia wa wa Waikato, and I said, what the hang's that name doing in there? So I'm, I'm looking through to find in this history that Fenton put together, um, and 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 those ma they had magistrates in the native courts, and I'm reading right through it to find who 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 was running what, and uh, Thompson was running the uh, Tommy Hunter. 
see all those names coming out now, it's all being fabricated. Uh, in the Waikato and the Maniapoto, it, they're all stuck fighting each other because they haven't got the original Waikato from Mangatauteri. You just skip right over the top of it. They just skip right over and left out the real Manukau title that is King George has got right there on that receipt. Uh, and the other, uh, uh, um, the other documents in the uh, Edinburgh Magistrate Court. But Ref Ref Manukau is, is sticking out of them all. And, and, and no, one, no one would ever have that because I'm reading right now in the Waikato area that it appears that the land was already sold and they were trying to figure out who, which, which tribe to go to. <laughs> who was the boss? Was it Maniapoto or was it Tainali? Was it, was it uh, 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 the other fellows from north? Uh, and, they, and they were all playing around with Waikato's name and Rewharewha's name. You see, uh, up there they got Rewa as Rewharewha or Rewha, uh, Rewharewha. In, yeah. in the fun papa, yeah. but then they got all these other bodgy names. Yeah, the, they the, got the river park in the yeah, yeah, all that was River River was up there yeah. and they buried all that history. But Mohi couldn't tell me when we went into that Faka Papa that I put together with him, he wouldn't he couldn't tell me about the Manga Totari. It was George Connolly that told me about the Manga Totari. And and, oh. and 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 he the Scotsman. You see? Uh, well, Morris, Morris was telling me that uh, we were up at uh, 5 o'clock up at the uh, 28th. Yeah. Yeah. The, they, uh, Bunny had never done anything. He saw you coming in with being a uh, thing by uh, Hammer, eh? Yeah, 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 yeah. They never done anything. So what do you reckon? Uh, do I need to go? No, you you don't know you. Your best not to go like you never went, no, no. never went to Waitangi like me. I think that yeah. Koko woman deliberately stopped me from going so I wouldn't com consent to it. You know, I think she might have. I've, I've got the wrong impression, but I think she went there to stop me from going there. I would have consented to Bundy and what they were doing yes. because I got left out and and I was I was very upset of not being there. Well, if I had been there. Bundy would have been taking control, which is which, which now he's sticking out a mile as being uh, um, all their decisions have been made, and even the, he's gone and taken advantage of Ratna. He's taken advantage of Ratna, uh, going to knock the government out while he goes in with his Fakaminia. The Fakaminia, as far as the British are concerned, in these documents I'm going through, you'll see them, is that the 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 Whakaminia and the king. Uh, 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 to Hector, they have no political means of running a government. They they uh, they are uh, uh, secondary. They cannot they cannot get a consent to run a government, uh, let alone be themselves. They are allowed to do what they want to, but it, no, it goes no further. The fucker meaning it won't go no further because the other half of it is in Wellington. The, the other half of it the. The, the the House of Commons is, is is the one that runs the government, not this upper house, because that's a federal state and you have to have a flag for a federal state and this is the flag for the federal state that they they have no contract. You you know that flag, it can't be used by what they're using it for. Yes. It's only for the king's business. Is abusing it. Yeah, they're abusing it, but they don't know that it was given to, uh, it, it was given to Refa Refa Manuka. not the other ones, because Refa Refa Manuka was taking over from Te uh, uh title to, to use the king's titles as contract or commercial, you see. That's why I'm reading now, I'll show you when I come up, the, 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 the transcript of these, uh, these uh, documents. Um, that says clearly that there was no way that uh, um, um, the king uh, or any uh, tribal groups could make a Maori uh, um, um, uh, um, uh, group run the country. They, they won't allow it. They can run themselves but not the country. 
Yeah, that's that's the. Uh, it says who is Ho Hohaya Parata Waikato. See, they took took the name Hohaya Parata Waikato as being their Waikato. This is the one that Bundy is going under up there. Uh, uh, and all that uh, these these things that I'm reading. Um, this is the old Upper Waikato, and uh, it's got up that way to um, all this area between 1858, the land, Native Land uh, Act, and, and 1862 when they formed. I'm getting to the end of it, and I've, I've screen printed those to put in the book, and I'll, I'll, I'll end up on, it's going from 1858 to uh, 1862, just in that period when, when uh, when that um, um, Refle for Manika one came out. But I just uh, think that um, Bundy would do the case himself uh, 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 and without us. Uh, but I think, eh? Hey? You won't use your... your uh, I don't know. He's got it there as a backup if he, if he, if he doesn't oh, get anywhere with the judge. Right, but right. the thing is, that's sheriff. That comes into this jurisdiction, not his jurisdiction. They don't have sheriffs in, in the, in the Whakaminia. They haven't got the, that uh, commercial side um, 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 sorted yet. It, 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 it hardly would get off the ground because it's a federal state government that I'm running already with, the, with that stem. And this, the, that Whakaminia is this one we are talking about that formed uh, that time period with uh, uh, Pumare and, and Rev Rev Manika right up to 1868. Uh, Rev Rev Manika was uh, was still alive. And and uh, has uh, has Bundy got a uh, mobile? Yeah, he's. Um, uh, have you got? Have you got it? Yeah, I'll I'll text it to you. I'll text yes. I'll text it to you. Um, I so you can let him know, uh, yeah, yeah. I've got it here somewhere, but I've got to go. I'll, I'll, hang on, I'll just have a look at the, one of the other phones. Just hold on a minute. Cheers. I'll, I'll, I'll just have a look. Um, I'll see if he's here. I'll look for Bundy. Uh, yeah, no, it's. Uh, yeah. Uh, Bundy, 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 Bundy. 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 Oh, he's already on his way to, to Tom Chappie's mate. Yeah, yeah, um, um, hang on, um, Bundy. It's 0220. Oh, sorry. 0220. 4528. That's Bundy's mobile. I've just, I've just taken it off my other phone. So yeah, let them let them know because we have to stay right away from that organisation because he's gone with the government. He's gone with Labour Party with the, with uh, um, um, uh, uh, Davis uh, and also with uh, uh, um, uh, with the Maori government. Can you can you repeat that for me, please? Oh, hang on. O two two O four five. Two eight, two eight, four two. Four two. Yeah, that's his eight. mobile. I'll, I'll let you get on with it because I'll, I'm 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 spending time putting this book together, with with awesome. with with everything intact, and uh, you you'll understand it. But uh, we 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 stay on this track, sure. and because I'm going to pull that Cook Street out, and we're off when I when I finish up there. Okay. Yeah. No. Well, this is the Chinese one. It was 129 bucks. It's got 64 gigs. It's got it's got bigger hard drive in it. And oh, oh. Yeah. Well, it's got it's got better uh, things in it and more features to clear up the sound and everything. Uh, but I I need it uh, to run the the business and everything. But I think uh, if, uh, when I come up on Thursday, yeah. you could have come over and had a little talk on Thursday yeah. uh, up, yeah. up to Morris's place. You know where it is, at? the little church. Yeah. Yeah, just yeah. pop in there or, or just text me. I'll text you when I get there. 
he'll pick me up at 11 o'clock on Thursday and uh, right. we might call in your place on the way. Yeah, I will. I will. You up the you're not far up the road from the A. Eh? No, I'm on the Hodakia Road too. You know. Yeah, how far up there yeah, are you? It's just about uh, seven, eight, ten k's from uh, Morris. Oh, ten k's. Oh, okay. Well, I'll see what he says. You just go past uh, to his to his place. Yeah, you can go that way to go to his place. Yeah, yeah. Is that a metal road, though, eh? Yeah, that's the middle road. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'll see what, he, see what he says anyway, because yeah. he goes all up those tracks on his, with his wife anyway, to, yes. to, to, um, to do the rubbish. Um, but if he, if he don't, I'll come over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll, see, I'll text you when I get there. Yeah. yeah, okay. You have a good day. Yeah, okay. Bye. Okay, bro. Well, I want to say this. I'm right on this subject of who's who. And the way I'm seeing it, this Hohaia Parata Waikato has to prove who, who, who he is up in the Ngāpuhi area because it certainly doesn't look right on all that whakapapa up there with these land agents that put things together from Australia. It doesn't look good because I'm reading into it. I've flicked them out. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna show you what I've flicked out. I'm gonna I'm gonna while I'm here, I'm 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 just telling money I'm going through these old um, documents. Um, what does it say? Um, Waikato, Lower Waikato. I'll go right up the top of this. The history of between 1858 and 1862, Referefa Manukau, 11th of November, 1862, Native Land Act of New Zealand, and with Rogan and Ref Ref Manikau sold a whole lot of Pukekohe. Now, 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 that's telling you something. That this land was sold before before the government of New South Wales and New Zealand started to make their titles for all these Maoris. There was no such thing as Maoris. What's wrong with this? Hang on. What's gone all wrong here? Oh, shucks. I'm just... Oh, never mind, never mind. Okay, leave that one out. Okay. What I'm going to do is this. I'm going, to, I'm going to show you what I've just told Manahi here. I'll put the camera around this way. Over there. Now, that's us in Te Unga Waka Marae with Enet Hua Akarai and Dion Walker. Um, put this hui together to take to the Modi out of this piece of land on the Referefa Manukau Rogan deed of sale uh, and purchase agreement for Pukekohe and the Auckland province area. Now we go down here and here, right, I'm saying tensions were further heightened in 1820. That's the period of King um, of um, Paramount Chief Tira Waikato Whare Here Manukau was 1820 period, right? And he went to Cambridge University. Uh, and it says here, Kendall had already produced a basic vocabulary for schools and the first attempts at marriage scriptures. Hongi Heka had convinced him he was now a Christian and would be an ideal collaborator in producing a Maori Bible and a book about Maori people. On the 2nd of March, 1820, Kendall, along with Hongi and his nephew, Chief Hohai Parata Waikato, 
of Rangihau Sitzel in the New Zealand. They went to Cambridge University in London, um, um, England. But this is not the name of the chief. This name here, I'm, I'm going to challenge where this name came from because the real chief down in Maunga Tauteri is Tira Waikato Whare Here Here Manikau. And everything in this country is Moriori Manikau, not a Waikato on its own. And this is this this is the this is where it's been screwed by these pirates in Australia and New Zealand with this Whakapapa that they've gone down with there's the real Tira Waikato Whare Here Here Manikau here. This is Waikato from Waikato, not from Ngāpui up there. It's not right. Uh, Chief Hongiheka and eight, uh, Waikato, 1820. See, you can see? I'm just showing you. These three here formed this British title of Edinburgh Magistrate Court. This guy on the left here, Waikato. His name was Tira Waikato Whare Here Here Manukau. Not this name they got here. Kuhaya Parata Waikara. That's not this guy. Right? That's not that guy. This guy is a Manaka. And they've got it all wrong. Because Referee for Manaka, they changed his name to into a female, to the Waikato, into a female, and Rewa, from Referefa to Rewa. But the receipt in the book, here, right here, can you read the deep? 89, can you, can you read Refa Refa Manaka? Look, this is this guy here on the left of this British bishop, uh, 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 Kendall, Thomas Kendall, bishop. And there he is here in English, here, buying the land, Rogan, there, Ro Rogan buying the land off him, Pukekohe. Right there, in this deed. Two deeds. One is an 89 and one is a 90 deed. Now, that's what I'm saying here in this history. There's no way. They sold the land back then. This guy on the left sold the land to King George IV way back then. That's why this, the, this, all this history here of this guy can't prove it. See, look. Waikato chief gets a helmet from King George the Fourth, right? King, the king gave Hongi enough gifts to fill a chest along with a suit of chain mail and muskets. He got muskets, but the chief Waikato was given an armoured helmet. You see, Hongi and Kendall spent five months in Britain, mostly working with Professor Samuel Lee, who had taught himself Latin, Greek, Hebrew. Right, that's that. That's that's those two. Now, now, this guy, Waikato, I'm going to ask those people if they've got any deeds with this name on a deed, like this one. I know Pody Harris has got deeds similar to this, and um, Morris Bakers has got deeds as well. But this is, this is the real deal, deed, of... The 11th of November 1862 that we had this hui here on the Maroi was in it Ohio over here there and my witness um, um, Dion Walker and his wife uh, um, Lady T Tika uh, Daniels uh, witness here and with uh, Willie Peter ringing up to, to check if we're inside having a hui. Yes, we did. We had it late at night. After 6 o'clock, we did the hui. From 10 o'clock in the morning, we were supposed to have it, but we did it in the evening. That's why it's dark. We did, we did it late because we were going through rehearsing all day and we were going through all the books and everything to make sure we, we got everything spot on. And here we go. I'm saying here, the district called the Bay of Islands District and say the territory line within the boundary line commencing north head of a false Hokianga or Herikina running fence the right line summit of 
Maunga Tanifa and thence to the right of the south head of Whangaro Harbour, thence by the coast line, including adjacent islands, to the north head of Tutukaka Harbour, thence by the right line to Maunganui Bluff, and thence by the coastline to the commencing point. Now, the district is subdivided, subdivided into hundreds to be called the hundreds of Kororareka, the hundreds of Hokianga, and the hundreds of Waimate. Dear, that, that, this is what we're talking about, the big areas. Now, now Bundy, he has to have deeds. If he hasn't got deeds, he can't start a government. Because I'm going to just show you where it says that. Um, the Runanga is, is just trying to make a government, but the, the Runanga, they have to take the Runanga out, and the Runanga's got all the records of the Iwi Maori, because that's what they are. The civil commissioner and magistrate, see, shall be appointed by the governor in council. The chiefs of the district, Runanga, shall be elected by the hapus of the respective hundreds, subject to the approval of His Excellency the governor in council. There. Now, the chiefs of the districts Runanga shall hold office for a term of four years at the expiration of which the governor shall devolve, dissolve the Runanga and the hapus of the respective hundreds. So that's what, that, that's what they do, turning them on and off like a tap. And so here we go here, the chief. Now, now the, I'll, I'll skip past this because those are a list of the things that um, you'll see it in the book. Uh, now, here's the chiefs here. I don't see any Waikato in here. These have taken it out, and, and this is up north. Tamati Wakanene, that's, that's a walker. Wakanene is walker, waka. Uh, nene, uh, they've mixed the names up to make it look like it's real. And then Hare, Hongi, Hika. Arama Kraka, you see, Clark. You see, that's Clark with the E on the end. That's Selwyn Clark's lot. And Rangatira Motere. Mo, 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 mo ta, tara, Aprahama Tanui, King Wirimu Tare, Tareha, Wirimu Hau, Hira Maru Te Awa, Hemi Marapo. Now, now that's been put together as a runanga. That's not an original uh, uh, title holder. They've skipped into their own, but they cannot contest the British. Have written it out. And now, oh, hang on, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do this. Hang on, wait. I'm gonna make this big so I can read it. I'm gonna show you this part that where it says. Uh, I'm gonna read it so so you can understand what I'm saying. That there's no way a Maori government is gonna climb over this runanga and run this country with amateurs, right? the government of the individual tribes under the king, Maori king. Now, it's saying here, it will therefore con conduce or clear clearness if I separate the counts of these two separate things and give in the first place a description of the individual tribes united under the Maori king and in the second of the king himself in the former respect, this district does not probably differ materially from all others in New Zealand is a matter in the latter is unique. It's its own self. And it goes on down and it says, amongst the members of the Maori tribe there is the absolute equality of condition which is called democracy and that want of organised government which is known as anarchy. That, that quit committing anarchy when there's another government running. They have to take that one out before they can run this country. The traditional power of the chief is gone. See, when, when they go into politics, the chief is gone. It becomes a business. It is true there are men like William Thompson and Riwi Manuapoto who have the title of chief and whose abilities have gained them respect and influence both in their own tribes and amongst strangers. But these men are the executors of the will of the people and not its guides. In all their plans, they have to consider what their tribes will think and say, and when their own opinions differ from that of the multitude, 
that is everybody in New Zealand, is the, is the former. It is the former that has to give way. The, the democracy is too strong for them, and the resistance would cost them their position. The supreme power of in the tribes, legislative and judicial, resides in the promiscuous gathering of men. That's the that's the fuckaminga, only a gathering of men. That's all they are. Women and children, that's what the Whakamininga are held in public sleeping house, that's the meeting house in Titi, of the village at bedtime, that's the only time they do their laws, when they sleep, in which certain individuals amongst the men, uh, that's Bundy and, and Hilawini and, and a few others that are going that way, not always wisest or the best, possess a prescriptive, prescriptive right to engross all the talk, that's what they're doing at the moment. This is called a runanga. There's a runanga iwi Maori that are operating this system right now. They cannot do any more than just that. Make make amendments and make laws to themselves. The members do not come to a vote there. When there is a difference of opinion, one side out-talks the other. That's what's happening in Titi Marae. They out-talk each other. Uh, money... That's why I'm saying it doesn't work. In making laws, the natives have no idea of any limit to the province of government. The province was set up with Te Rewaikato, Wharehere, Manukau, and Rogan, okay, and Refa from Manukau, nobody else. Their regulations extend to the minutest details of private life, that means their own selves, and they make laws as to what a man shall and what a man shall not be allowed to do on the Sabbath, that's Sunday. Laws against falsehood, that's what these marriages are doing. They, their karaki has come first and then all this commercial stuff comes second. It got around the wrong way. Laws against falsehood, whether slan there is or not. Laws to fix the prices as to which pigs Corn and potatoes shall be sold. Laws to fix the payment for which people shall be allowed to carry the mail. In short, the runanga is a grievous tyranny. That's what they are, and would be unsupportable if it only possessed power to carry its laws into execution. It is not because of the forbearance, but because of the feebleness of their tribal government that the natives enjoy any share of individual liberty. That's all it is, token, gesture. It is not that they obey laws which respect the rights and liberties of the subject, but that they do not obey any laws at all. That's what they're doing at the moment. The runangas are tyrannical but weak. The people lawless and free. If anything should give runanga as at pre present constituted power to execute their decisions, the natives might remain equal, but they would find themselves no longer free. Okay, that's what's happening. It is well known that these runangas also ex exercise judicial authority. There are indeed certain persons who are styled king magistrates. I have seen a regular printed gazette in which a man named Hapemana is appointed resident magistrate of the West by King Matu Matu Taira Taira Potato that these men are unable to exercise the powers implied by their name. Right? Their name says a lot. Bundy Waitai, his name says a lot about what he can do. My name Wanoa has a lot to do with Rogans, they married, and um, Monica, the, the Rogan's married as well. That's why I'm going right into the law. What physical force there is resides in the members of the Runanga who carry out their resolutions when they are carried out at all by their own right arm. So that's what I'm saying um, about um, um, there's, there's Hor George Gage, Hori George Gage, a half-caste, was rescued 
from custody. It was the Runanga of Kihiki that first resolved, revolved, resolved he would be taken and then came in person, took him. No natives would carry out the decision of one of the king's magistrates until they had first themselves inquired into its justice, justice thus constituting themselves the real judges. The Maori magistrate only, that's why I'm calling myself a magistrate, a real one, acts only as a sort of detective and public prosecutor. That's what I am. I'm a detective and a public prosecutor and a bank creditor, a, 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 a judgment creditor. And everybody else, including third parties of Maori governments and everything else that's not in this game, is a judgment debtor with a pound note on their head. I'm going to put that pound note right in front of everybody at Tahike, and any, if anybody wants to challenge it against what title I have and they got something better, they can have the, 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 that pound note of King Tafio from Waikato, not from Napui, from Waikato, and Waikato himself, the chief Waikato. Not the chief he's talking about. There's no Waikato chief up there. He's, his pa is down at Maungatauteri in Cambridge. Well, why they went to Cambridge, the name Cambridge, made the English language here, from this Cambridge here to that Cambridge over there, okay, and this Plymouth to that Plymouth over there, and this Devonport to that Devonport over there, and this Monaco to that Monaco over there, and so on, right? You have to show me something better than this. Um, magistrate noted, okay, that's all I need to go there, and that's that document, but I'll put these other ones there as well. Um, um, there's Maunga totally there. See, mention of Maunga I'm going into that now. Um, uh, I'll, I'll read it. Uh, it must be supposed that the tribes allied under Maori King live in perfect union and fellowship amongst them, us as amongst all equals, there are jealousies and quarrels. Their old heredity, heredity land feuds are dormant but not extinct. There is a chronic dispute between Nati Koraki and Nati Rokawa about a small extent of wasteland beyond Mangatotari. Okay, so that's that document, and I go on and finish the rest of put them in the book in this book here I showed you, and so that's that's really uh, the guts of it um, for Bundy. He's got a court hearing for his um, one of his family today in the, uh, uh, the Kataya District Court, and um, I'm saying to Manahi. Um, Bundy has split from us and this Manukau, uh, Ref Ref uh, Manukau and Te Rewaigato Wharehere Manukau title holders and they're saying that it can't be one chief. You know, John Key, the Prime Minister of this country, took this whole country and sold it, right? He sold it because uh, Bill English is doing the same thing and now Jacinda Ardern is doing the same thing, selling it off to the Chinese. There's one person is doing that. One person. And the Governor General, Patsy Reddy. One person. And Sean Elias. One person doing all this. One for the law, one for the government, and the other one for the Queen. Okay? There's three people doing things for their own business. Corporate business. And you've got a flag that can kill the whole of them, but wrong people holding it. The wrong people are holding that flag that you fellas are flying around. You know, you don't know its power. It's in the wrong hands, and that's why it's dead in your hands. It's live in my hands. Okay? And money's hands because that's for the Manukau title. Single man title to Britain. Okay? So, um, um, I'm getting all the documents ready for this book will be thicker and thicker and thicker and thicker. That's what I did with all those other books. They started small and started going bigger and bigger and bigger and, bigger and pages to it. So I can pull any of those acts out of there and stick it on anybody who gets in the road of this Refere for Manikau title. Right here. In this book. Right here. This is a receipt from the British government. Okay, you can't get any better than this. Now, the pound note in here is going on anybody's head to stand in the road, and I mean it because it's going in that 
there, that one there. No, no, it's only a million, trillion, trillion pound note. Don't laugh, because that's for all the third parties, including the Maori government and, unfortunately, the Rūnanga, Iwi Maori, and the Whakaminia. It's a third party. It, this flag here can't work for the Whakaminia because I've just read it out to you on that document that's put together by this government here in Wellington that's saying, they're saying, the New South Wales government and the New Zealand government in Wellington is saying that the King in Tuhatia has no legal effect in the bigger world of politics and banking and all that. They are only for themselves. It's only limited to Tainui. Ngāpui is only limited to Ngāpui. This flag is useless to Ngāpui because they've split it out and fight amongst themselves. That's what it's saying in this document. The very ones who did it here. Now, no one can go into the British document if you haven't got this book. This is not for you, Bundy. This is for me and Manahi and the Manukau title holders. You have to make your own. You have to use your uh, Waikato chief and show your title, how it got there, how it made its whakapapa to you and Ngāti Kuri. Your Kuri title holder has to match up with the, the, the British one that uh, um, Morris Baker's got. If you haven't got one like that, you never did have. You can't talk just like the whim like that and just pop up on the scene and claim everything. You, you can't claim everything because this is my 20 years plus here. I've got all the documents that go with it. Where's your documents? The first thing the British will ask you, or the government of Wellington, where is your title and who are you? They'll look at your name and they'll follow where your name goes to whichever tūpuna and that one will go in a black hole. That Waikato chief that's got his name here, Hohaya Parata, that's Pratt. The name Parata is Pratt. All those names are big. I'm telling you, I'm going to throw them in the rubbish because they have corrupted the Manukau's title and the Waikato's title on these lands. They were sold in 1820. It's gone. You've got no contest because you'll have to shoot everybody off the land with the muskets and go and buy some more. Muskets like Hongi Hika. That's all he did. Buy guns and shoot everybody and fashion the, the Bible. Moai is not the Bible. Right? We don't talk Bible in my language, in Tahiti. It's straight up me and deeds of truth. Crown on his head, dirt, title. Truth. Tell the truth. And nothing but the truth. So help me God. Don't lie in front of this book. Don't lie in front of this book, Bundy. I'm telling you, Hiruini, your name, Karaka, is mentioned in here as one of the agents that's supposed to look after these natives. He didn't look after them because he couldn't understand the law himself. They couldn't understand because it's a bank of secrets and these pound notes will drop on anybody's head. I'm going to put these pound notes down over here. I'm taking them to the hui. Now, if anybody has got any <coughs> challenge against this book, what I've written and put together, you've got it, Bundy. You've got it, Hiruini. Do not use it. Do not use this book in your native court because I'm running the native courts where I go and where Manahi goes because this is a Manukau title. It's nothing else. It's nothing else. Now, if you use that Hohaya Parata Waikato title, it's fake. I'm telling you right now, don't argue with me because you'll get one of those power notes right on your head on that day. And anybody coming to who don't talk about Maori governments or Whakamininga outside of this Whakamininga with Reverend Malika and Pomari.
Just those two. You forget about everything else. Don't talk about anything else because you'll get fired off the marae at Taihe. That is a native court, British native court, that started off all the titles in Rawini and that area. Don't argue. You're not proficient enough to take on what I'm doing. I've been at it too long. So, shut your mouth when you come to the hui. And listen, you might learn something. Because whatever you do, whatever government you set up, is limited. It's just saying that. This government in Wellington, if you, if you try to take them out, you're going to create anarchy with everybody else who has settled on this land and helping to keep the country going. All I'm doing is making everybody accountable for every space of land there is under this title. The Rogan, the Wānor and the Manukau. Okay? The Wānor down the east coast, Native Land Court in Gisborne, that's all the main titles are over there now. They've shut down everything else and they'll be shutting down the one in Hamilton, the, the Maori Land Court, because it's British. It's British. Okay, that's all I want to say for now. I'll just get on with it. I'll put this up on uh, on one. Um, so the money he has told me this new phone, this Chinese one is loud, it's clear, and that's what I want to hear. These other ones are not that good. Okay, that one is this one. That one's not that good. HTC and this one here, uh, Nokia, not that good. They were quite bad. Not clear. Um, so. Um, to um, uh, to um, my friend uh, Morris um, Baker, um, you're all, all, all set to go. I'm going to put your documents underneath this. I'm going to put these other ones I just showed you under here too. And they go under this one here, Taya, to Mawakamarai, and uh, Epsom, because that's the Auckland title. And then um, uh, that's Manahi, that's Manahi there, I did myself. There's only two of us in this Manukau title. He's a direct bloodline descendant of the Moriori Manukau, Te Rawaikato, Whare Hele Hele Manukau, and Rewharefa Manukau. And um, he's an administrator with me, the executor of the Manukau Moriori Trust, and also the creditor, judgment creditor, Magistrate Court, right? There's Magistrate Courts in, in Native, but they are ineffective when it comes to this British straight title. That was Bundy didn't want. He didn't want trust. Trust make money. Anything else doesn't. So, number one, Bundy split off for me, and I've been booted off Titi Marai. I spoke to Kingy yesterday. He said, they can't do that. Well, he's got a problem to sort them out. It's not my problem, but I support Kingy all the way through these years. I've been with him over 20 years. And I'm supporting him and his Queen Victoria Trust and King Edward line of his bloodline um, descendant, um, ancestor, I mean. And I'm supporting the Manukau Moriori um, Trust to King George IV and King William IV. This flag here that we have is connected to uh, from William the Fourth, King William the Fourth, to his brother King George the Fourth. Okay, so that's that locked up with Tira at 1820, the private contract in this book. Okay, I'm just stitching all of that to, together to just lock everything out, and I'm going to seize Cook Street on that basis that this Rafael of Manukau title to Waikato area and. Manukau area and Auckland area and the province of Auckland, New Zealand title holders is the one man title that supersedes all titles in this country. Period. With Britain seize the whole lot. We're going to seize the whole lot back into the Manukau title where Kururareka, the Manapui title got seized and thrown back into Aorau, Killingsville under the Manukau title right there. And it's still like that now. It's still under that Manukau title. Now I'm seizing it back with this Manukau title. 
right through the will. This native title, 1862 Native Land Act of Rewhere for Manuka went right through the will. So we seized a whole lot of the Queen's bench court titles and put them back into the King's Bench Native titles under King Ernest Augustus, the fifth reigning monarch, King of Britain, UK, Hanover, and New Zealand, um, Pacific Islands, Commonwealth countries of the world. New world order. This in the flag, in our flag, over here. Okay, you got it? Kid you not. So the, the hui is at uh, Tahiti Marae on Saturday, the 18th of this month, November 2017. And the pofiri, or, or pofiri, uh, the welcome, uh, is at 5 o'clock on Friday uh, in the afternoon um, at that marae. To get to it, you go um, from Kawakao, turn off to Paihia, and, and proceed through uh, um, Kawakao on, on to um, Kaikohe, head for Kaikohe. And when you get to Kaikohe, it goes through and carry on to Dargaville. It's another 20 minutes outside there, um, um, past Horeke Road, on the uh, left-hand side across the bridge, and climb a little hill, and the marae's on the left there. So that's where you'll find us, and um, uh, for those who have deed titles, bring them with you, and I will explain what those are. And the Ngāti Kuri people uh, watching this video and uh, hearing me on the radio, don't muck around with any substantive titles. Only King's Deeds titles are going to count, uh, and if you have any, bring them. If you haven't, don't bother coming, because it won't matter because these ones take precedent over all the titles you have that the British is going to just about seize the whole lot when I finish at Taiji Marae and go back into the uh, Te Uruwaka Marae in Auckland to finish off Cook Street and seize that and the whole, whole country after that and the Pacific Island and the whole world that the Queen says belongs to her does not belong to her anymore. We're seeing the whole lot and I'm acting as the King's surrogate King William IV, uh, surrogate King George IV, King George III, um, and uh, St. Mary's uh, Church, uh, Holy Grail in Edinburgh, uh, and uh, Tikiti, uh, East Coast on my land rock, 1831, um, and also St. Patrick's Church Order, the eight point star on the flag, and on my head, um, in Belfast, um, um, Northern Ireland and the DUP, DUP party, Arlene Foster, uh, First Prime Minister of Northern Ireland, is Protestant and that's who I am. Uh, the Rogan uh, and uh, Rogan judges and Cosgrove lawyers, coat of arms, I'll be wearing there as my family there, straight in the Westminster with the DUP party and the Moai King William IV party. Okay, we're going straight in there with the King William IV party Maui crown in Queen Elizabeth the second great court in London is my ancestor's title, the Maui statue on East Island Tipito to Tipito East Coast on my Marangaro land blocks and my Marangaro Moroi and my Rahui Moroi in Tiki Tiki where the St. Mary's Church is on top of the hill, 1831 open up the first birth death marriage certificates in Whakawhitira. Native Magistrate Court just up the road from Tiki Tiki, uh, about um, two miles out, three miles out towards Ruatoria, right there, is the Whakawhitira Native Court that I 